Hi guys, today I am going to show you how you can make your own bicycle computer using MSP430 microcontroller. So let's begin by taking a look at the components that we need. We need a 16 cross 2 LCD display to display the average speed, the instantaneous speed and the distance covered. Let's take a look at what's beneath it. We have a MSP430 G2553 microcontroller. Power LED. My point one micro uh, farad capacitors 10 micro farad capacitors a slide switch to switch on and off the uh, my uh, bicycle computer the a preset to adjust the contrast of the lcd display we also have this push button for reset this push button to display the average speed when it is pressed we also have a usb to supply the power we have LM1117 voltage regulator to regulate the voltage from 5 volts to 3.3 volts as required by MSP430. We have a DRV5053 Hall effect sensor. We have male headers, fem uh, female headers and we also require a power bank for supplying the voltage. So the first thing that we need to do is to make a schematic and a board layout for our Hall effect PCB and the main PCB. Uh, we, I have used Eagle software for that. You can use any other software that you want to use. So let's take a look at how our bicycle computer actually works. The distance traveled by the cycle would be equal to the distance traveled by the wheel of the cycle in one rotation into the number of rotations the wheel undergoes. So the distance traveled would be 2 pi r into n where r is the radius of the uh, wheel of the cycle and n is the number of times the wheel rotates instantaneous speed is taken as the uh, speed of the cycle in one rotation of, of the wheel of the cycle so we are taking instantaneous speed as 2 pi r in, divided by t where t is the time required by the cycle to cover one rotation of the wheel Average speed is taken as the total distance traveled of, by the cycle by total time taken which is equal to 2 pi r n divided by sigma of t. So how do you measure the time period t? Time period t is the time taken by the cycle to cover a distance is equal to 2 pi r that's the distance traveled by the wheel in one rotation. So we have a magnets arranged on the wheel in such a way that whenever a magnet come across comes across the Hall effect sensor it gives us an high, high output voltage. So we have our Hall effect sensor in such a way that it would gives us give us an output voltage of highs and lows. So if we can measure the time between two falling edge of the output volt output wave, we can get the time period t. So for that we will be using the timer feature of the MSP430. So MS, uh, we are using timer in continuous up mode. That means that the timer uh, varies from 0 to 65535. That's the maximum limit the timer can go up to. So we have to measure the time period between two falling edges. So we will come across three different cases in this. We will have to program our code in such a way that it covers all the three cases. So for the first case is that the two falling edge of the output wave comes within the first cycle of the timer so the distance the time period would be this time period the second case would be that the two falling edge comes between two consecutive cycles of the timer so we will have to arrange our code in such a way that it measures it works in all the three cases the third case would be that the two falling edges come uh, comes in different cycles of a timer so if we can measure this time period t, then we can measure our instantaneous speed as well as the average speed. So let's see how a bicycle computer works. So I will be simulating the wheel of a cycle by using these magnets. So these magnets would be attached on the wheel of the cycle uh, along with this sensor that would be attached on the cycle. So whenever these ma uh, this magnet comes across the sensor, it would generate a high low pulse that would be detected and we would be detecting the falling edges of this of that pulse and hence calculating the speed and distance covered 
so let's see how it works so let me just switch it on so now I am simulating the wheel of a cycle by using these magnets notice how the distance and the speed changes so this is the instantaneous speed that is being displayed so now if I press this button it would display the average speed continuing again and this button is for reset so when I will be pressing this it would reset the screen So when I remove these magnets, that means that the bicycle has stopped. So this instantaneous speed should turn to zero. So this is how your bicycle computer works. Thanks for watching.